Welcome back to Broken Sword number one. Last time, we are destroy We started destroying the French catacombs. Let's see what other destruction we can bring. Close up, I could see the plaster was thinner where I'd broken through, and behind it were some cogs and a lever. Let's pull the lever. Here goes. The secret door had jammed. I couldn't get through that gap. Well, crap. Oh, let's use this on it then. More destruction! Screw your priceless history. I'm an American. Well, this escalated quickly. Boy, had I ever made a mess of that door. Let's see what's down below. At the bottom of the steps, I could see a glow. I could hear voices from the lit area. It seemed a good moment to be cautious. Uh, maybe I could peek through this hole then. In the beginning was the end. An end wrought by our enemies began our darkness. In the end will be a beginning. An end to our enemies heralds our new day. Report. The military establishments are in flux. The end of the Cold War has left them with no clear goal and as obvious targets for budgetary cuts. We have successfully promoted a sense of betrayal in the upper echelons. They feel that the politicians have cast them adrift. The pattern is emerging our time is now! Boy, buddy, that oh. suit's real tight. Mamsel? Governments are giving the corporations more respect than their own citizens. A groundswell of dissatisfaction and dissidence is growing. The corporations are becoming too large and complex for their own executives to control them. A blind belief in market forces is accelerating this trend the world over. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. The global population's belief in those that govern it has never been lower. We this have guy looks familiar. a sense of immediacy and action over forethought and planning in all the major governments. They are acting on hasty decisions that cannot be completed or revoked without appearing foolish. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. Excellent. The tired old governments are dying a slow death from their own incompetence and our machinations. Professor, where is the broken sword? Ah, as we discussed last time, with the loss of the manuscript, our search is as a corollary hindered. And, as discussed last time, you have been furnished with a dramatically increased budget. What have you been doing with our money, Professor? We are working on the principle that the Templars... <clears throat> that is to say, our predecessors... Hold on. These are the Templars? must have left a trail when they were hiding the clues to the sort of the Fomet's location. I have a small army of historians and archaeologists ferreting out that trail. I trust these historians and archaeologists are more trustworthy than your friend Pigram. Pigram was loyal. He tried to protect the Lokmarn gem when the Hashashin came near. And failed. And don't call that Syrian maniac the Hashashin. He's an assassin. Plain and simple. That's not what he believes. He actually thinks. 
Silence! Do I have to remind you that we have a sacred duty? A trust? When Philippe attempted to destroy the Order, we lost the sword and our power with it. Like political now, power or we have magical power? We have to reforge it. But time is short. We need results. Not petty bickering. Not excuses. Now, Professor Baphomet. Yes, of course, my apologies. We will find Baphomet and the sword manuscripts or no. We have already found another element actually within Paris. Excellent. What is it? Well, we're not exactly sure at present. Ha! Ah, but I have my best people working on it. You would do well not to criticize others. But I, I showed him the manuscript at in the hotel. I have not murdered one of our own. Of course. That guy was the bogus doctor in the hospital. Marquet was a liability. Eklund dealt with him on my orders. I beg your pardon, Grandmaster. I did not mean to. Have you any good news for us, Professor? We already know three of the elements. We know that Klaus not had obtained the lens before he vanished. Where was he? Syria. We know that he arrived, but after that, nothing. The assassin. I feel so. It's a shame. Klausner was a good operative. This will be our last meeting in person until we locate the sort of Baphomet. I hope that I don't need to emphasize the importance of finding it. Without it, our endeavors come to nothing. With the sword reforged, we will have the power to sweep the stage of all opposition. The next time that we meet, it will be to become the princes of this world. Wow. You wouldn't rather be princes of the universe? I mean, there's already a song about that. Also, do they need this sword to defeat some sort of ancient evil that's sealed away? Or are they just gonna be crazy people running around stabbing some people with the sword, being like, I am a prince of the world! I have a sword! I'm going to stab you! Uh, I guess I could probably go down there now. Did they leave any clues? Oh. There was a large circle marked out on the floor with a stump in the middle. Around the circle, I could see words inlaid into the stone. On the circle's circumference were the Templar seal and two Latin phrases, non omnis moriar and clarior e tenebris. I shall not die completely, the brighter from the darkness. Can I use In the this middle spell? of the circle was a stump of stone, a shaft of daylight from the world above, lancing down to touch it. And it has three holes on it. I noticed three small notches around the edge of the stump's top. Uh, can I put something in the notches? The tripod's feet fitted neatly into the notches on the top of the stump. The light falling from above struck the gem and scattered in five neat rays. And each ray picked out a letter. Starting from the left, I could read M A R I B Marib. Now all I had to do was figure out what the heck that meant. Oh, that just looked like four rays. Nico, I've seen them. Who? The Templars. I spied on their meeting in the catacombs. And you saw the Knight Templar? I saw a bunch of guys masquerading as Templars. They're after something called the Sword of Baphomet. 
The Bogarter was there. The guy who killed Marquet. The manuscript is the key, just as we thought. It shows the way to the broken sword, whatever that is. And how does the assassin fit into all this? He's out to stop them. These Neo-Templars, they're men and women in influential positions. Don't you see? Plantar was one of them. The assassin killed him for the manuscript to stop them finding the sword. But now we have got the manuscript. Yes. So how do they hope to find the sword? I don't know. They said something about a lens and a guy called Klausner who's gone to Syria. But they didn't seem to realize the significance of the very site of their meeting. You see, after they'd gone, I discovered a stone pedestal and a carved inscription. I set up the gem on the tripod directly below a beam of light. The gem split the beam and lit the letters M A R I. Good thing it was like high noon when I did this. This is a village in Syria. You're not thinking of going there yourself, are you? Why not? These guys are crazy and dangerous. That reminds me, you should leave the gem here. Okay. What about the tripod? I'll send it back to Andre anonymously. So, does that mean that the assassin is actually the good guy? And that these Templars are just a bunch of dicks? Trying to rule the world? Well, maybe we'll get more insight in Syria next time. <laughs>